The Greenville County School District approved its fiscal budget for the next school year. The new budget included a proposed tax increase for people in Greenville County. Our Jamia rejoins us live now from the Greenville County School District office with more about the changes coming to the new budget. Good morning, Jamia. Good morning. Well, the board voted nine to three in favor of the new budget last night. The new budget will have a millage rate increase of 9%. That's about $14.9 million in additional revenue. This means people paying property taxes on their cars, boats and rental properties will go up. But the district does not get money from the home you own and live in. The money used will go to teacher and staff salary increases, also paid parental leave and preparing for the addition of more than 1000 students. Many people, including teachers, were split on the move by the district. There are families that are having a really hard time um, filling their gas tanks up and feeding their families. And so I see an increased burden on those families as something that we want to avoid. Approving this budget would just be a very small action with really high leverage and it would go a really long way um, for our teachers and our support staff to feel supported and invested in by our community. The school district could have raised the millage rate by around 34 percent, but decided to leave it at 9 percent. That means about 25 percent up was left on the table, which equals about $30 million. On July 1st, the new budget will go into effect. Live in Greenville County, Jimmy Reed, WYFF News 4. Jimmy, thank you. Turning to Pickens County now, where County Council approved funding for a countywide radio system. The council voted in favor of allocating more than $10 million in American Rescue Plan funding toward the project. Right now, county officials say they're using three different systems, and they say a countywide radio system would help first responders communicate more efficiently and be an improvement for day to day operations. Officials say that'll take some time to put in place, and they'll keep the current system until it's ready to go. The city of Greenville has released plans to build more affordable housing for seniors. Officials say the eight story addition would be located adjacent to the historic Greenville Summit downtown. We're told the design review board has already approved the plan. The city says seniors in the new addition will pay 30% of their income, which breaks down to an average of $338 a month. Construction is expected to begin next September with 50 units available in 2025. All right, music fans, you'll want to hear this. The full lineup for Voyage Music Fest was announced today. Singer Teddy Swims is joining the roster of artists performing at the festival. He joins other headliners like Khalid, Quinn 92, and the DJ duo Two Friends. The two-day music festival is set to be held September 29th and 30th at the CCMB Theater in Simpsonville. Big congratulations to this year's Golden Apple Award Top 5 finalists. That's right. They were announced in our special right here on WYFF4 on Saturday. Here they are. Taylor McCarthy teaching kindergarten at Hollis Academy in Greenville County. Kimberly Jordan teaching math at Spartanburg High School in Spartanburg County. Amy Bird teaching chorus at Easley High School in Pickens. Austin Anderson teaching special education at Powdersville High School in Anderson County. And Rebecca Murray teaching fifth grade at Hodges Elementary School in Greenwood County. You have been selected as our Teacher of the Year. Thank you very Woo! much. <laughs> Thank you. Austin Anderson was also announced as the Golden Apple Award Teacher of the Year. Hannah Ward made a surprise visit to Powdersville High School to surprise Coach Anderson. A big congratulations to all of the Golden Apple Award weekly winners. We look forward to introducing you to more great local teachers next school year. Hannah's here with us now. Hannah, it had to have been hard to pick from just this group of yeah. people down to one. How do you pick? <laughs> oh, it's, it's almost as hard as picking the weekly winners. All the nominations that we get in throughout the school year, I have to read all of those and pick 30 weekly winners. And then that decision to pick a top five, oh, it is almost impossible.